in our very own solar system. On our very own planet, there exists a black hole that you may not even be aware of. A cinematic black hole. In a time where video rental trains were going out of business and streaming services were in their infancy, a movement of independent studios released films. Without the platform or support from larger distributors, these obscure films were lost time. Until now. The Dark Lurking, 2010, written and directed by Gregory Connors, starring Tanya Renee Hamerick, Brett Kennedy, and Ozzy Devrish. A group of mercenaries and scientists must work together to escape from a biotech facility overrun by vicious mutants. I'm going to say this right off the bat. I really like this film amidst its issues. I'd never heard of it until I started searching for films to review a few months ago. The trailer looked amazing and I was excited to check it out. The most refreshing thing about this film is the fact that almost everything is done in camera, which is impressive considering the increased dependence in CG in modern films and how much easier it would have been for them to cut corners by doing so. The sets are incredible and look like they came right out of an old James Cameron film. Everything has that smoky industrial look synonymous with 80s sci-fi horror down to the rotating lights. The makeup special effects are spectacular as well. The creatures look great and the gore in this film is awesome. The script is the weakest point of the film. It makes no attempt to establish where or when it takes place and it is made entirely out of cliches. I thought I missed a thing or two so I went back and skimmed through the film for answers and discovered they weren't there. The editing in the first half of the film is far too frantic as well, which is a shame because this film has plenty to show and nothing to hide. The actors all present exactly what the film needed, which is a performance worthy of any survival horror game from the late 90s. It's not great, but damn is it entertaining and fitting. Amidst these issues, it is clear that this film was a passion project. A lot of love and care went into making this film the best it could be, which is why I appreciate it so much. Modest productions like these make you wonder just how necessary a big budget actually is. They made this film with less than $200,000 and it's far more entertaining than some films with millions behind them. Verdict recommended. If you ever wanted to see a love child between aliens and Resident Evil, this delivers. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next week for another thrilling low-budget adventure. Thank you.